mashed potatoes happens to be one of my favorite comfort foods. And today, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make them ahead of time with a special guest. Hi! <laughs> This is Talia. Thank you Hello. so much, Talia. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. I'm oh. excited. Yay! If you're not familiar with Talia, Talia plays my daughter on our television series, yes. Family Reunion, and your character's name is Jade. Jade. <laughs> um, if you've seen the show, I guess one of my favorite scenes is when I- Is when you embarrass <laughs> me in front of all my friends. <laughs> Hey, that's what I do as your yeah. mom, Oh, and right? you killed it. You killed the moves. <laughs> Absolutely killed it. You guys, we have so much fun on the set, oh, don't God, we? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, <laughs> even on rehearsal days, like yeah. when we're not shooting, we're constantly like La having fun, yeah. sharing stories, Laughing. ridiculous stories. Yeah. It's always a good time on set. Yay! Because we're family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are making mashed potatoes, yes, but I'm are. telling you, this is a way that you can make them ahead of time. Instead of boiling your mashed potatoes, we are gonna roast them. Okay. Yes, so what I want you to do is, yes. these potatoes have already been washed perfect. and scrubbed. I just want you to pierce some holes into the potatoes with a fork. Okay, perfect, I All can right. do that. Yes, and while you do that, I'm gonna work on our garlic confit. Do you know what that is? I do not. <laughs> I wish I did, um, but I don't. Okay, a confit is a French terminology. Okay. Anything that's cooked slowly in fat. Oh, okay. So our fat that we're gonna be using today is a neutral flavored oil. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that this is on low because we don't want it to get too hot because we don't want our garlic to burn. And I'm telling you, garlic burns very <laughs> easily. I've learned the hard way. Hey, you guys, I can't believe it. Talia actually drove herself. I did, oh, yes. I can drive. I got my license a little late, but you know what? We did it in the end. <laughs> my baby has a car. <laughs> so here's another tip that's really important mm -hmm. is you want to make sure that whatever oil you are using, it covers the garlic. Okay. And next, we're going to add some more flavor to this and I'm just gonna put in some thyme. Ooh. Just like that. So I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 to 30 minutes until the garlic is super soft. So can you like save this for other dishes? Um, yes, you can. You can store it in an airtight container for up to four months oh, in wow. the refrigerator. I feel like that'd be really good with pasta. Oh, yes. Like if you don't wanna do sauce, a little olive oil on there, yes. it brings a lot of flavor to it. All right, so you've pierced all of these, I right? I have, it's done. I think it's important to note that you want all of your potatoes to be around the same size. So for example, yeah. if one of these were smaller, then that would cook sooner. Okay, so it might burn by the time they're all done. Exactly. Okay. So you wanna make sure that they're all the same size and this they're looks like They're pretty good. That, right? Okay, so how long is this in the oven for? This is in the oven for an hour okay. at 450 degrees. Okay. okay, so let's do it. All right, so our potatoes, they are out of the oven. Yes. They've cooled down and I'm telling you, this is what makes it so easy. Yeah. Instead of sitting there for skinning. hours skinning and skinning your potatoes, we are just going to scoop them out, right? Uh-huh. And just kind of like crumble them up with my hands like that and just put them in there. Bravo. Isn't this like easier? Ooh, this is easy. Right? I it's like when you want to make fries or like potatoes or anything, you're like, oh, let's do it. But then you have to sit down and like skin <laughs> the potatoes. Not fun. One thing about me is if I am making something, it definitely has to be practical. Yeah. And rather easy, right? So you don't want to spend like two hours making mashed potatoes. No, you don't. And this is a way that you don't have to do that, yes. right? And you know what? We can save these to make some potato skins. Ooh, I'm going to save that there. Yes. So you've made mashed potatoes before? I have. Um, I hate to admit it, but most of the time, I make the flake mashed potatoes <laughs> with those flake things. But now I have a perfect recipe where I don't have <laughs> to use potato flakes from a bag. <laughs> Talia, Talia Jackson. But it's so, Lynn Jackson. it's so hard to make these, but this is a good and easy recipe. Right? So now I can just go and get some potatoes, put them in the oven, go do right. whatever I gotta do, yep. and then scoop them up. Right, and then you saw how we did the garlic confit, which yes. is really nice and easy. That was just for 25 to 30 minutes. Yes. It sounds so fancy, but you really only need like a pot. Right? <laughs> like an oven. Right, see? 
it's not so intimidating when yeah. you think about it. Should I go ahead and do this? Oh, yes. What yes. are we using this for? Okay, mm -hmm. so the goal here is to prep now and rest later, right? That's one of those cool <laughs> things you just said. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What I want you to do is butter the baking dish. Okay. Uh, use about a tablespoon of butter. Okay. You can leave this in the refrigerator, right, for up to two days. So you're making okay. it ahead of time, yeah. up to two days. Or you can put this in the freezer up to a month. A month? A month, yes. So it makes Prep dinner a month ahead of time. Prep <laughs> dinner <laughs> a month ahead of time. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's crazy. Usually when I'm making mashed potatoes, it's yeah. like either for my family yeah. or for a special holiday occasion. Yeah. And there's a lot of things going on. You this work is like on throughout the day. Right? Yeah. This is like one less dish to worry about. Yeah, exactly. I mean that's all you have to do is just take it out of the freezer yeah. or the refrigerator and boom, bake it. Exactly. Ready? I am ready. So let's do this. Okay, and while you do that, I'm just gonna start adding just lots of flavor to these mashed potatoes, okay? Sure. So, remember our garlic confit? So I'm just gonna use probably about like, maybe 10 garlic cloves, or you can use as many as you want, really. I like things to be very garlicky, if that's a <laughs> word, um, but we'll just start It is now. Ten. I'm gonna add some salt. There Finished we go. That. Oh, good job. You want to help me start dumping all yes. of this stuff in here? Which so this is some sour cream. Right. So go ahead and just add all of that in there. Right. So now I'm going to add all of this cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. The sour cream smells so good. Right? It's starting to remind me of mashed potatoes. <laughs> You're like, oh, we're making mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> so this cream cheese is at room temperature and we're doing that so that it incorporates nicely. You yeah. know what I mean? If it was really, really hard, then yeah. it'll be hard to mash all of this up together. You don't want that. You don't want that. Plus it'll take longer, like, it's like. Right? So when you bake potatoes, they can dry out a yeah. little bit. So we're just gonna add some more liquid in there. Just a little bit. Yummy. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of butter. It's probably like maybe about yeah. fat. This is just gonna be some <laughs> creamy mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. Ready to start mixing? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh that girl. smells so good. Oh, my cousin. It does. Okay, this is like starting to look really nice, nice and creamy. And creamy. Ooh, girl, this smells so good. Okay. Oh, All right. The sour cream. Yes. The garlic. So good, right? I want to get all of that in there. There we go. Look at this. Look at how nice and oh, creamy gosh. this is. Can you do me a favor and grab yes. the baking dish? I can. And we're just gonna start loading this in there. Scoop. Scoop, scoop time. Scoop, scoop. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Just, I'm gonna use this to kind of yes, to even it out. Perfect. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. So are you gonna do this for your next party? Oh, or? yes. All my whole family is, are big mashed potato people. So this will be a big hit. Awesome. I'll text you. Okay. Picture and of let it. Me know, yes. <laughs> and let me know how it came yes. out. I love when I see pictures of you guys making the dish. So in the comments below, put your pictures there so I can see. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. You wanna help me out? I do. Perfect. And just sprinkle, sprinkle it all over. Oh my gosh, Ooh, you guys. There you go. So next, what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're just gonna put some butter on top. We love butter. Right? <laughs> and this is just gonna brown the top up so nicely. So at this point, we wanna decide yes. if we wanna make this ahead of time, right? We want to eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, let's vote. Do we want to um, eat this now? I think we should eat it now. I, I think, think that, we should eat it now that definitely too. works. But <laughs> if we weren't, I want to make sure that this cools down mm -hmm. and then we're going to put some foil on top, mm -hmm. right? And then you would put it into the freezer or the refrigerator, yes. right? But right now we are going to cook this bad boy and we're going to put it into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Yes. You guys, this looks, I mean, you know, I'm always trying to be cool here. Yep. Heavenly. Look at the pools of butter, Talia. Look at the corners. Yes. Do you so want it crispy? Do you, do you want a corner? Yes. Let's do it now. Okay. So Should, I'm gonna take you, here. You got to use this one. Oh, oh, you yeah, use, yeah. You got to yeah, get yeah. a big scoop, girl. You can't Butting. be shy. Look at this. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at Most that, passed out. you guys. Oh, gosh. My I'm, I'm, Can I goodness. try this? Gonna... Yes, girl, dive in and tell me what you think. The crunch. The crunch comes from the Parmesan cheese that we put on top and then butter. Because <laughs> mm. it's creamy on the inside, it's like you're breaking through a wall. My. Oh. Oh. Mm. This is Talia. Oh my God, it's fantastic. I can never make know, like mashed potatoes like, like yes. Yes. <laughs> this is the holy grail, right? Of mashed potatoes. Yes, I agree. Delicious. Talia, thank you so much for coming. Gosh, thank you. I've, I've had been so awakened. Much fun. This uh, is an enlightenment yay. to my brain. <laughs> yes. yes Goal accomplished. I hope you guys make it at home. Yes. And you have to. Aw, thank you. you have to.